Hi! So there were two readings this week, both about Wikipedia and how it's edited. The first one by Leonard focuses on Quarty, or otherwise known as Robert Clark Young. So Quarty is someone who made 13,000 edits on Wikipedia, and lots of these were revenge edits on people who he worked with and had a bad relationship with. He also edited a lot on his own page to make himself look more successful and more likeable as a person. But he didn't only act as Quarty, he had various sock puppets, or brief personas, in order to do this. And still, after all of these edits, he faced no real consequences from Wikipedia. And that's quite interesting to think about, the fact that the anonymity of the internet allows people to get away with things like this, whereas if they'd been writing an academic book or journal, they'd be berated for their behaviour and face some sort of consequence for it. Quarty says that he sees Wikipedia not as factual information, but a postmodern novel, meaning that it's not reality, but just how we want to perceive reality. And that's kind of true, but it's also true about a lot of things, like books and movies. Even though they may be factual, the person behind them is still putting their own meaning and their own opinion into it. It's not something that's new to Wikipedia. But the fact that Wikipedia can be edited by anyone does raise some issues about what's being said and what's quite truthful or what's being twisted. I'm sure the references at the bottom of the page do help with this, but a lot of pages don't use a lot of references. And the second article, an essay written on Wikipedia, explores this further. They say that Wikipedia is academic in nature, but is rarely used academically. I mean, for example, at university we aren't allowed to reference Wikipedia because it may not be factual. But this seems kind of contradictory. How can an academic piece not be used academically? They look at how Wikipedia is used with students, how students are taught to write and edit for it, much like we're doing this week. And they say that this teaches a lot about academic writing, such as the fact that it is never the final product, it's continually being revised by multiple people, which is a bit like peer reviewing your academics, where you're constantly working with other authors in order to get the most accurate information possible. They end the essay by saying that Wikipedia decides what people remember in the future, which is true, but with everyone editing it, can we be sure that that's going to be an accurate representation of the past? I mean, surely multiple people working on one thing is going to create a more accurate representation than one guy writing a letter on his own 200 years ago. Sure, anyone can edit Wikipedia, but because it's global, there are lots of people all looking at that edit and deciding whether it should stay or not. There may be no official moderation, but people are working all the time to moderate what content gets produced. So for one quarter, there's a mass of people working to correct him. And perhaps Wikipedia isn't as unreliable as we're thinking. But what do you think? Is Wikipedia a reliable source or not? And why? Anyway, that's it for this week, and I will see you next time. Bye!